So we have this rat's nest of goo. Ugh. Gross. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, replace that with something cool. So after a little bit of digging around on the inner tubes, I found that Power Packer, the commercial company that does fire and rescue, their hand pumps look very, very similar to the ones that are on the LMTV. So I reached out to Power Packer. I was basically trying to see if one of their pumps would work on our trucks. And after the debacle I had with Goodyear trying to get a friggin' quote from them on a tire, I figured this was just gonna be another Sisyphean effort over trying to order an OEM part for the military truck, quote unquote. So I sent him a couple of photos of the truck and not only did he have a matching pump, he sent me the drawings for the original pump so that I could match the measurements myself to the one that I have on the LMTV. So it turns out Enerpack, the parent company of Power Packer, also made the pump that was the original pump that they sent to Stuart and Stevenson. So the pump that I went with was a non-air assisted hand pump uh, and it has the built-in raise and lower valve. So if you want the air assisted one, I'll go ahead and link that one in the description as well. But uh, I'll give you the part numbers and you guys can order it from uh, Eagle Mark IV. We got ourselves a new pump with a built-in valve that is, matches the dimensions of the old pump and the pressure settings for the hydraulic cylinder that we have on the cab tilt and the, um, whatchamacallit, the cab tilt latch or the cab latch. So let's get that put in today. You know, it's best to put the gloves on before you start putting all this crap together. So, stand by. Crap. That is too sharp. Because these bolt holes will line up if this is rounded off. So I'm going to need to round this off to match that. Let me cover those before I dink with that. I need that vice. <laughs> oh, this will probably void some warranties. <laughs> So we put the gas tank back on in the leather video and uh, I forgot that I can't get my hand back in here. So let's, uh, let's take the gas tank off again, or at least just slide it down. Oh, Loosen these up. There we go. Now we can get to them. Oh, of course I can't caps off. Shit. Okay. So I filed a profile on that guy. So it'll fit right in here. And it matches the bolt pattern thus far almost perfectly. So that's cool. Having a matched bolt pattern. Double check the, cool, okay. The shield actually slides on, so we're good on that. Make sure it's gonna. <laughs> yeah, I like it, I like it. Good. All right. Push, we'll go to lower, because that is raise. Pull, we'll go to the upper one, okay. All right, went down to the local Pure Tech and got uh, some new lines made up. Some 
aero shell. This is Milper 5606H. So, same stuff that they use in the LMTV. Pretty much everybody loves this stuff. It doesn't suck up water. All right. Got ourselves a mini funnel. And we'll put a bigger funnel in it. Put it in a jar to see if I can get it to. So we should only need 800 milliliters now, right? A much should fill this thing up. I think we're pretty close to full on that unit. So now what we'll do is we'll crack the lines down there and we'll bleed this system out. There we go. Now we're getting some movement. pump her through a few times and then let's try and lower this cab. See what happens. It overflowed. That's where the other half liter went. <laughs> Forgot there is the rest of that in the cylinder. <laughs> so we spooched about that much back out. I'll run it a cycle it a few more times, see how much more we spooge out, and then uh, clean up the rest. Well, I like the steel bar. Chuck a tool steel. It works! It won't shake as much when I actually tighten it down. No leaks there. Alright, let's run it back down. Well, there we go. Cab goes up and down, which is nice. <laughs> We've uh, had to switch the old cell phone because a battery died in the other camera, which is unfortunate. But uh, got a rag jammed in my uh, <laughs> jammed in back there because it's still pooping oil out, or because this whole cover down below is all covered in oil. So the hydraulic fluid until I can back this thing out and pressure wash it, I think it's just going to be leaky. But we uh, put the uh, support on, put the gas tank cover and support on. I gotta put a, I can't see that. Okay. Next step is to uh, get some covering for those lines so that they're a little bit uh, more protected. And yeah, that's it. And then we can uh, put some gas in the gas tank, prime that system, and then we can road test these tires and the new gears, all that good stuff. Well, we got a little bit to go yet. That's it, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, catch you later.
zoom in so we can see my mistakes effectively.